I think we're just gonna be able to mop everything, maybe? I'm hoping so. Boom, okay. <laughs> All right. Boom, decoy stun does go off and... Oh, we almost took out the Wave Master. What is up, guys? We are back today with another video at top number 14 in the world. I've been pushing real hard and it's been hard to find the best decks to counter the Wave Master for Riders meta, but I think I found the true, true best one. And it's like my previous video's deck, except we're running Apprentice Monk, Pekka, Decoy, Battle Boxer, and instead of the Miner, we're running the headhunter headhunter is just better so let's just get right into some matches me and gonzalez kind of have this like in-game inside joke to just spam are you ready so like gonzalez if you're watching this are you ready we got doubles deal it's not good for him um placement wise so i'm gonna go with peck on the left here and just go nothing um round one's not gonna be too bad with the shield maiden he's going front tile archer queen interesting he does realize i can just ap monk it right anyway well, it's okay it's okay well, we'll we, I, I don't know what the strategy is but well i'm gonna trust it i'm gonna trust it so i'm gonna actually just stuff a decoy in the archer queen's face uh just for the sole fact that i can just stun it and yeah i'm really hoping to get a shield maiden upgrade here but if he can't i'm just gonna put down battle boxer for good measure for saint and more healing on our shield maiden long term so let's see here. Um, so he's going for a Magic Archer upgrade. And he's going for Invisibility on the Archer Queen, which is to be expected. To be expected. And I think we're just going to be able to mop everything, maybe? I'm hoping so. Boom. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go with Stun on the Decoy. Just, you know, it's the rule. And I'm just going to go... Did I go minus one attack damage? Yeah, I'm going to go minus one attack damage. One attack damage. No, is the Dark Prince going to cancel that? Tough. That's okay. We can we can just move our shield maiden. So I'm not the most worried about that. Um, do we even have to though? I don't think so. I think we think we win this. Maybe. Actually, we might not. No, we're not. Okay, I was gonna say. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna be way too good to be true. Not too worried about the Dark Prince personally. Boom. And we're still getting the Archer Queen in the radius. And just for good, good extra measure. What I'm gonna do is go for. Are we gonna get the Apprentice Monk? I will just go for a pack upgrade just to get some tankiness on the field. We're not gonna get the Apprentice Monk upgrade, unfortunately, but I will go Headhunter in the back here and we will ready up here. Alright, he's really beefing up that Magic Archer, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, I will upgrade that Apprentice Monk for sure. Um, so let's see here. Now we got Shield Maiden going off. And as I expected, the entire board kind of falls and um ggs um we got a countess so i'm not a big fan of facing countess i'm gonna go decoy up front pekka honestly very front to the left here because if he's got a headhunter in the back which i think he will not yet he doesn't not yet he doesn't so this round didn't place the headhunter but next round we will see a headhunter for sure i've seen this deck millions of times so what we're gonna do to counteract that headhunter existing is we're gonna move our shield maiden in place of the pack up. We're gonna put the decoy very back here and um, I'm gonna go with one star pack up. Maybe even a two star pack up. Maybe, maybe, maybe. If we get shield maiden, we won't. We will not now because we got shield maiden. So we're gonna go for taunt. And we're gonna do the old switch. Uh, not yet, because I don't know where he's putting his headhunter just yet. All right, so he didn't place the headhunter down at all. Pretty surprising, not gonna lie, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it, personally. Um, so our Pekka's wailing down on the Countess. Now we distract the Countess, which is exactly what we wanted. And we take out the Countess easy peasy. And now poor little Sailor is just cornered in the corner there. I think we're gonna go for two-star Pekka now. I think that's definitely a safe call. However, I don't want to just go and move our shield maiden, like I said, just yet. I want to see where he puts his headhunter. So we're going to put down our headhunter, maybe not yet. And we're going to go for stun on the decoy, and we're just going to ready up. So he's going for double prince. Okay, he's going to prince our Pekka to the back. Not the most worried about that, if I'm being completely honest. Boom, the stun on the decoy is going awesome. And... Where did our shield maiden go? Where did our shield maiden go? Our shield maiden literally just got deleted. So you know what we have to do? 
for sure. We're definitely have to do we're gonna have to do this. For sure. Do one of these. Cancel that prince. Place down our battle boxer in the back here. And this could be it. And I'm also just gonna go for two-star decoy, because why not? Alright, let's see how this goes. No headhunter appearance. This deck might not even have it. Okay, interesting. So I mean, he's, he hasn't even placed all his minis, so I know he's not. I mean, he hasn't placed it yet. So anyway, so taunt goes off. I don't think we taunted the countess, which sucks, but that's okay. Can we get an awesome punch on the sailor? Nice, take out the sailor, and we are going for the next round here. I think he waited. He definitely waited for us to uh, move our shield maiden for the headhunter for sure. So you know what? I'm gonna go one star apprentice monk, and now I'm gonna reveal our headhunter. I'm actually gonna put the headhunter just over here. No headhunter! Okay! Interesting deck. Okay, I kind of feel like we wasted that upgrade on the apprentice monk, to be honest. But I just, I don't know. Countess? Countess deck equals apprentice, or uh, equals headhunter all the time. But I think that just, I think we just literally lost the game because of that. Yeah, we are facing a wave master. The deck that this deck is pretty much designed to counter. So I may just go that is a horrible first reroll not gonna lie um i'm gonna go decoy and pekka over here and we're gonna ready up nice decoy prediction so we're, we're gonna cancel that first shot off the headhunter with our decoy which is phenomenal that's what we wanted and our shield maiden puts up her shield lovely and we headhunter takes herself out on the shield maiden and we take out the sailor and i'm pretty sure round number one belongs to us i'm gonna go with decoy over here so that Potentially the Wave Master just supers all the way in the corner there. And what we're gonna do is try to either get a P.E.K.K.A upgrade or hmm, I'm gonna bet on Shield Maiden more. Hmm, no Shield Maiden, that's okay. P.E.K.K.A upgrade, stun on the decoy, and we're gonna ready up. Okay, so he's got Dissipate going on his, onto his Headhunter, and that's fine with me. Um, we are going to get our Shield Maiden super off right now. Awesome, awesome possum. Uh, I don't think it's going to be enough, though, for this round, however, which does suck. Yeah, our shield maiden does get torn up. That's fine with me. We're going to go battle boxer over here. We're going to go for taunt on the shield maiden, and we're just going to ready on up. And the reason we're doing that is we want saint to go off, and we now our shield maiden just has way more health. Now, as you can see here, battle boxer is just also in the mix now, which, you know, just doesn't hurt to have a battle boxer on the, on the field. Um, we actually may... She actually is going to provide some value here and take out the headhunter potentially, maybe not. Nope, shield maiden just does that with her shield. And we have, as you can see, we just deleted this entire deck. And we have so many units left over. Pro full health decoy and a P.E.K.K.A. just going off onto the Wave Master. A two-star P.E.K.K.A. for sure. And I'm just going to ready up with just that because Apprentice Monk serves as a good Clash Canceller and or a headhunter canceller. Let's see what we can do here. So he knocks back our shield maiden which is kind of good for us because boom decoy stun does go off and oh we almost took out the wave master we almost took him out that was such a close call but that's okay uh shield maiden supers but it's not enough i'm gonna put our shield maiden just on the left here slightly i'm gonna put apprentice monk right over here i'm gonna go three star pekka and we're just gonna ready up with that gonna be an interesting match but i think we can pull through here Alrighty. So he does actually strike the shield maiden, not too worried about that. We got full specialist, so everything recovers just fine and dandy there. And now shield maiden goes off. Hopefully now we're able to take out the sailor. Let's go. Come on, sailor. Come on. Let's go. Boom. Easy dubs on the wave master.